So this question says y equals, and I'll just write it down, y equals a x minus 2 x plus 4. It goes on to say in the quadratic equation above, a is a non-zero constant. The graph of the equation in the xy plane is a parabola with vertex cd. So I'm going to just write that down. So my vertex is c comma d. Now, what I've learned to do on this test is anytime the variables are changed from x and y in an ordered pair to a different set of variables, just keep in mind, right, c is really just x, and d is really just y. Um, and then it goes on to say, which of the following is equal to d? Well, in essence, it's, if it's asking what's equal to d, it's really asking, like, what's y equal? That's really what it's saying. What it's saying. But in order to not be confusing, I'm going to rewrite this equation, um, replacing x with c and y with d. So I'm going to have d equals a, c minus 2, and c plus 4. Okay, so that, that should remove all of the confusion. So then the question does mention that we have a graph. Anytime a question mentions anything about a graph, I like to just draw it out myself. Um, you know, if a question mentions a graph and doesn't provide it, I like to draw it out myself. So what do I know about this graph? Well, I, I know, again, going back up here, I see these binomials here, x minus 2 and x plus 4, and those actually give me quite a bit of information. They, they tell me the x-intercepts, right? They basically tell me that, again, I can use this as well. They tell me that if c, so let's say this is the c-axis and this is the d-axis to say cons consistent. If c were equal to 2, right, 2, 2 on the c-axis, I'd have an x-intercept, right? Because if I put 2 in, I'd get d equals 0, right? So I'd have like 2 comma 0, an x-intercept or c-intercept. And also, if c equal negative 4, 1, 2, 3, negative 4, I'd also have a c-intercept. Again, if I were to plug negative 4 in for c, um, I'd get a d equals 0. So again, I'd have negative 4 comma 0 as an ordered pair for the for the c-intercept, the x-intercept, same thing. So now, if those are the x-intercepts, then my vertex, right? So back up here, since I don't, I don't know what c and d are yet, my vertex, the x value or the c value of my vertex must be halfway between the x-intercepts, right? Just given the shape of what a parabola looks like. If these are my x-intercepts, my, and let's say, so these x-intercepts are six units apart, right, between negative four and positive two. That means that just three units down should be where my vertex is. Let's just put it here. I don't know exactly what this d value is, but I do know that my c value, that's a negative one right there. So what do I know? I just figured out that c must be equal to negative one. I know that for sure, given that positive 2 and negative 4 are my x-intercepts. So now I go back to my equation by d equals a, c minus 2, c plus 4. I now know that c equals negative 1, so I'm going to replace c with negative 1. So d equals a, negative 1 minus 2, negative 1 plus 4. And then just simplify. d equals a, negative 3, positive 3. And therefore, D equals negative 9A. And looks like I have my answer. So that's choice A.